Sunday morning, 26th of June. Caleb Ministries, and we do 2 Timothy 2, verse 8. And I read, Remember that Jesus Christ, of the seed of David, was raised from the dead according to my gospel. Um, we forget rather easily that Jesus endured hardship. Somehow we got the notion that he suffered so we wouldn't have to. But that's not what he told his disciples. He suffered uh, the penalty of sin so that we wouldn't have to. But he never told us we wouldn't have trials. In fact, just the opposite. He guaranteed tribulation, John 16:33. And he assured the disciples that they would follow in his painful footsteps. Have a look at Matthew 10, read 22 to 25. If we wanted comfort, this was the wrong master to follow. But if we look into eternity, they shall key, look into eternity with the eyes of faith. If we want glory and blessing in spite of whatever hardship it costs, this is the right master to follow. We are told that he endured the cross for the joy that was set before him. Oh, hallelujah. Hebrew 12 verse 2, for the joy set before him. And that joy should keep us going too. If we've gotten discouraged, if we've lost heart, We've lost sight of the joy. That's a promise at the end of this long, hard road, and it's worthwhile. The glory, Paul says, will out, 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 outweigh the trouble. 2 Corinthians 4.17 The benefits will outweigh the cost. We have no trouble, at least in principle, in applying the truth to saving, to saving money for a future purchase, dieting to better health, studying for a degree, or training for a competition. But when it comes to the hardships of life of a fallen planet and the glory that will follow, we focus on the hardship and forget the glory. We forget that the price at the end is magnificent beyond our wildest dreams. Now, if you want to be like Jesus, set your heart on the joy that is to come. If you really get a glimpse of that, no hardship will weigh you down. Not for long. If you find yourself living for comfort and peace right now, you will find yourself constantly frustrated. But if you have to set your heart on the joy of eternity, the momentarily frustrations will be just that momentarily and you will have become more like your Lord for this is biblical truth in Jesus name Amen